the career opportunities Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operations. In the last uh, two a couple of videos, we have discussed about uh, the modules and uh, what is ERP, what is Microsoft Dynamics 365. So here we will get into more details. How is it growing and uh, how can you uh, upskill yourself? You know, if you're working for, if you're working in a non-IT job or if you're working as an end user, like accounts receivable analyst or accounts payable, invoice validation, GL user, to uh, upskill your uh, you know career from end user to as a consultant, what all skills that you should acquire and how is it growth opportunities being an ERP consultant, especially in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So all those topics we will try to cover here. So as a part of today's agenda, we will be discussing about uh, the industry, uh, the expectations from the industry and what all changes that are happening across the industry, right? So uh, there are a lot of trends that you can see earlier. It used to be on premises. Now most of the companies are switching from on premises to hybrid, sorry, uh, cloud versions. And even the work environments are also changing, right? And uh, there are a lot of artificial intelligence, machine learning tools are integrated in Dynamics 360 and ERP. And how is it going to impact your career? What all skills that you should acquire to ensure that you are staying updated with the, uh, the latest technologies, right? On the, as a functional consultant, uh, what is your role as a technical consultant? What is your role? So we'll try to see all such insights about the career and the job opportunities so that you can plan your, uh, you know, way as a uh, plan your path as well and which role does suit you. And as if you observe here, most of the companies, I mean, uh, after COVID, right? So most of the companies, they started, even though now uh, the most of the offices are working, I mean, most of the companies have started working from the offices. But still, there is a growing, there is a demand for work from home. So in general, you see, in general, we'll call it as a work from home. But if you look at the corporate technology, wherever, whatever you uh, see in the companies, right? It's called hybrid experiences. Basically, they wanted to uh, connect or they wanted to engage employees or they want the employees to work from anywhere. At the end of the day, they want the employees should be able to deliver the, the required offer, the required activities or the tasks that were given to the employees. Right. So that is something which is actually uh, has become a necessity for most of the companies to end to choose hybrid model. So if it is an on premise software, let's say if company wanted to install the software, then definitely employees should be around in the uh, like, you know, office environment or any specific location. But those days are completely gone. Now it is completely cloud versions where uh, users will be given a login details like we have a, a we used to log in the Gmail and any other social media accounts, right? Similarly, even here also, an ERP can be logged in, logged in with the help of user credentials anywhere. The, again, it comes with an uh, authenticator app. You just need to download an authenticator app and it will prompt you to enter the code. And once you enter the code, you can use it from anywhere. And you can constantly be in touch with the, your business if you're working for a project, right? Uh, let's say if, if any company wants to implement Dynamics 365, as a uh, ERP and they can hire a consultant. Basically, we call it as a consultants who work for the ERP, right? To help in set up, uh, setting up the configurations, all this and all. So uh, they can hire a consultants from anywhere globally. That means they can work, they can hire a consultants who can work remotely, who can deliver their uh, requirement remotely as well. So there is a, there is a grow, there, there is a continuously, uh, in, uh, the demand for the consultants are, uh, is, you know, quite increasing from last you know few days or few months we can say because of this uh, adopting because most of the companies they are trying to change their uh, they are trying to migrate from on premises software to uh, the cloud versions and along with that and last you know few years if you observe there is a tremendous changes in the technology as well where artificial intelligence as uh, as completely is it's trying to uh, automate a lot of the uh, the regular activities right so daily routine activities or the most of the tedious tasks that are being handled like complex activities right? the, uh, with the help of artificial intelligence and machine learning so most of these activities are being automated and that impact is uh, is there in the erp as well like we can we can take an example of invoice processing and you know processing the sales orders 
apart from any other any like when it comes to the uh, the regular act if you just instruct us if you just instruct the system to do this one with all the trial and basis trial and uh, errors right so system will try to understand and accordingly it will uh, show you the results as well so and even microsoft has developed a lot of such you know ai tools which are integrated with the microsoft dynamics 365 to ensure that i mean uh, the name is like we have a chat gpt right so microsoft has developed something called as a copilot that is their homegrown application even that is completely works like an chat gpt so the uh, the microsoft has developed this copilot and they have integrated this copilot in each and every microsoft product and even microsoft dynamics 365 also they have integrated this copilot so with the help of copilot you can start utilizing you can start you know giving instruction to the system with the help of that will call it as a prompts so if you go prompt to the uh, in the copilot so it will let's say if you want to create a purchase order if you give a prompt as of now we do not we, we do not have an option uh, for end to end operations but going forward with the help of prompts you'll be able to do your regular activities as well right that are also it uh, with the help of the data that you're going to that that is there in your uh, erp right so with the help it will give you the suggestions uh based it will start analyzing the data in case if you want to do any changes or if there are any best practices to be done it will give you the triggers or warnings in case if there is if you're running short of the stock or any inventory like you know waiting an alerts and uh you can plan your sales all those activities can be or they're trying to integrate so the demand obviously when organization is also growing they wanted to ensure that they are uh, the erp whatever they are using that should meet the current uh, the, the customer requirement as well right so obviously the growth for d365 f and o consultants is increasing because uh, being a consultant you know what all activities that are there that will help the organization to improve their daily activities. And accordingly, what all, uh, even there, there might be a number of tools, right? So you need to understand how, what all tools that are useful for the organization. It is not necessary that every tool or any functional, every each and every functionality is up to the, it will be useful for the organization, right? So accordingly, based on the, you know, expertise that you carry out, it, it is going to help the organization to plan their usage of the erp and if you look at as we were discussing the the trend is completely i mean uh, the industrial trend in terms of technology is rapidly changing this uh, uh, in terms of processes and uh, you know they are they need a consultant who and most of the they they hire a consultant who can help the organization monitoring analyzing their implementations right right from the starting because if company wanted to implement Dynamics 365 right from the beginning, they also need an in-house consultant as well. So you might get a chance to work for as an in-house consultant, uh, as well as if you're working for a partner, you can help the, you're, uh, you're going to assist the customer in implementing the Dynamics 365 implementations. So in both the roles, like you're going to, you need to have a thorough understanding on the modules. And it is always, suggested right so as and when the technology keeps on growing you should always equip yourself with the latest features that microsoft see if you uh, on daily basis microsoft keep releasing a lot of lot of latest features you should have a thorough understanding how it is going to help your customer so in order to the in order to have a thorough understanding it is always suggested to keep on exploring and if you keep on reading the blogs that microsoft keep releasing and testing them in our trial environment so this is where the the role as a functional consultant, especially when it comes to the finance and operations, right? So you will come into the picture. So in order to uh, implement any day 365 projects, right? So we need to have a proper guidance. You need to, uh, you should be ready to give a uh, guidance to the customer and what you need to understand their existing ERP, like what all modules they are using, what are their best practices they're using, what kind of reports they're using. And uh, what is the main motto of you know, migrating from existing ERP to Dynamics 365? If you understand the pain points, and if the before you understand the pain points, first we need to understand the business process of their existing ERP. Uh, what is their end-to-end -end workflow? How is it happening? Like in accounts payable, in accounts receivable, fixed assets, general ledger, cash and bank management. As a you should understand, you list. So anyway, we will be discussing in depth. Uh, in the implementation project 
like you know uh, the worry of the how does the implementation projects works and what all documentation that you need to carry out right uh, you will be paying a uh, playing a very critical role in implementing any of the Dynamics 365 uh, projects. So for that, it is always suggested to have an expertise or if you, it is always suggested to specialize yourself. In any of the specified areas, when it comes to the finance and accounting, we have a list of the modules that you need to focus on, right? So all those modules, the functionalities, because in each and in general ledger itself, let's say there are around uh, 100 features are there. But it is not necessary that customer is going to use all these features, right? So based on uh, your knowledge in Dynamics 365, you need to understand their existing requirement. Accordingly, we are going to help the customer. And as you know, we were discussing, right? So this is one of the major reason why there is a demand in the D365 pro professionals. Most of the as uh, they they also because along with the functional consultants they also need a developers they also they they also need a administrators right so system administrators uh, those who mostly focuses on uh, the licenses part security roles all these are you know uh, there is a because a single functional consultant cannot handle all these things right so they need to have a different uh, the roles depending on the role or uh, depending on the size of the organization uh, the demand for all these roles are actually increasing and these are the most commonly used uh, the terms that you can uh, use. You see it here in a, as a ERP consultant in Dynamics 365. So here we have a two different types of consultants. That is IT consultant and uh, that's a and functional consultant. So functional consultant and technical consultant and business analyst solution architect technical developer and system administration so business analyst uh, this is like you know uh, uh, the d365 f and finance and uh, technical consultants they will be mostly focused on the implementation part that when it comes to implementation like setting uh, setups configurations and all but when it comes to the business analyst right so they are going to assess the requirements initially before they get into the project right so uh, they'll be mostly engaged in understanding the customer uh, existing erp and what all pain points and uh, the signing of the projects and what all what is the requirement and the preparation initial uh, preparations of the like statement of work uh, or if there are any other legal documents all these activities will be taken care by the business analyst and solution architect like over the period of time once you start as a career as a consultant and as a as a business analyst right so you will understand uh, you will become an expert in all the modules like you will uh, get to know the in and down uh, in and out of the functionals and the the features in each and every module right then you will be considered as a solution architect so definitely it will take some time uh, because being a solution architect you should be able to uh, deliver the requirements of the customers in all modules most commonly used modules like if, uh, again you will not be restricted being a solution architect you will not be restricted only to limited areas like finance supply chain management hr uh, like we have uh, manufacturing, production, all these activities, all these modules, right? You should be able to understand kind of a techno functional you will become. So uh, you should be able to understand the technical challenges as well as the functional challenges as well. But we will be focusing mostly on the Dynamics 365 finance and operations functional consultant role as a part of the training. And uh, eligibility, yes. These are most important. Most of you, most of them are definitely uh, from the, it is not necessary that you should be from the finance background. Uh, to me, to be par with any of the commerce graduates, initially we are going to cover the basics of accounts, especially for the non-commerce background. And uh, if, if you are coming from the BTEC, definitely we initial uh, few classes will be completely focused on the account, the basics of accounts. So once you are thoroughly and once you thoroughly practice those, then you'll be par with the uh, the rest of them as well yeah and uh, yeah when it comes to the job opportunities for uh, freshers or experiences right so there are many opportunities like uh, eligibility will be like any uh, the fresher like 
so even for the freshers also there are a lot of opportunities where they hire you to as a business analyst initially they'll try to make you understand the, the in uh, how to prepare the documentations and how to uh, engage with the customer in understanding their existing erps and slowly they'll train you how to configure or how to set up all this the dynamic 365 finance and operations modules wise so we are going to cover the role i mean we are going to cover all these topics as a part of training and if you are an experienced candidate who has been already working maybe last you know 3 years or 4 years or 5 years in any different field right and if you want to switch your career from non it to it as an or as an end user to as a consultant so we are going to cover from the scratch so uh, depending on your experience you can uh, choose you know uh, uh, like you know whether you wanted to become a technical consultant or the functional consultant so when it comes to the functional consultant right so it is completely no coding there is no coding involved here and the technical knowledge is not required you can start from the scratch so we are going to help you uh, teach you the the real time scenarios and uh, we'll give you the sample in implementation projects like uh, i also will try to share a few videos how to interact with the customers and how do you engage with them in preparation of documents what what all what all best practices that you, that you should make sure while uh, practicing uh, you know preparing these documents and uh, existing you know how to stay updated so that is most important and because over the period of time a uh, lot of features will be releasing so continuously learning or continuously expert you know uh, exploring all the latest features that will ensure that you are uh, you will be able to answer the customer queries yeah so yeah as we were discussing as a part of this training uh, the support projects as well so if you are working for a support project uh, definitely you should be able to assist the customers by understanding their existing their uh, the technical difficulties while doing their daily activities how are you going to help them so all these topics will be covered as a part of the training yeah so i believe uh, most of the topics or most of the uh, in the, in the points that you are looking as a career guidance or the uh, you know growth right so these topics are mostly covered and the most important thing is like you need to if you want to settle down or if you want to see down the line 5 years or you know 10 years down the line as a erp consultant definitely it is going to help you out if you have all the skill set that is required and it is necessary that you should have a certifications so we will help you with all the certifications what all that is required for the microsoft and accordingly you can you will be hired as a d365 consultant for finance and operations and we also uh, yeah so, you know uh, in case if you need any assistance or if you want to know more details about the training and you can reach out to the contact number given here Yeah thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more such videos